Hi there, I thought I'd demonstrate something I've been working on quick. Um, it's a Unity game called Fireman Run, where you are a fireman, it's a runner, but you get to put out fires. Anyway, I've extended the editor to something kind of cool, so I thought I'd show. Uh, just a quick note, there are some still in development textures and stuff. Anyway, the game works like this. You'll run across rooftops and there are fires, and if you don't put out the fires or avoid them otherwise, you will get burned and die and you do have a, an amount of spray that you can use to put out the fires um, but there are some additional things at your disposal in the level which is these water spraying type things and what they do is they get you wet and when you're wet you can actually run through fire and you'll note here I can't run through fire and if I get wet, I can run through the same amount of fire without without dying. So anyway, what's happening is it's a time for me to work on the level. So this is a sample level I made, the one I just played there. And I have these water elements. And when it comes to level design, I want things to be a little bit more interesting. And so what I have here is it's prefab. On these prefabs are a number of um, water drops that just show up in the scene editor for clarity's sake. And they contain a collider. And that collider is what the player actually runs into and becomes wet with. Now the geometry itself is just this texture that runs. And it's actually a Blender file. So this Blender file, it just has a number of shapes. So this is the straight down one, this is the angled one. I just quick made these, extruded them, and did a smart texture mapping UV there. It works pretty good, but the problem is is it isn't easily adjustable. Like if I want water to spray not as far, etc, etc. So I had this idea to work on something else. So I'm just going to quick delete this one here and go and get my water sprayer. So the water sprayer is an automatic prefab that comes with a number of settings. Um, I have some editor stuff that I've done here. So first thing I'm going to do is going to put it behind so that it's behind the rooftop element pipe thing there. And we build it so you can see it. Now what I've got here is a number of options where I can decide how I want this water sprayer to look. So I'll slow it down, speed it up, make it not as long. That's just an optimization of the number of polygons in the mesh, how thick I want it to be at the start and at the end. So it's it to look kind of like it was before. Step size is just how, uh, how much division length there is there. I could have another little slider here for what the texturing is looking like. So with this, I'm able to quickly add a number of water type elements to my level and you'll notice they are automatically adding the prefabs on there or not the prefabs they're automatically adding the colliders for the player to actually interact with when they get wet so there it is thanks for watching